Let's talk about using BricsCAD BIM for electrical engineers. BricsCAD is created by a company called BricSys. BricsCAD itself is a CAD package that's a competitor to AutoCAD. BricSys, like everyone else, is trying to move their CAD package into various verticals, and they have BricsCAD BIM for the AEC industry. So let's take a look at how that scores on the electrical engineering BIM scorecard. The first question on the scorecard is, does engineering exist? And based upon what they have on their website, the answer to this is no. So they get a zero on the BIM scorecard. Their website is talking about 3D modeling and support for BIM. It looks like it's mostly architectural. There's really no mention at all of anything engineering related. So on its own, BricsCAD BIM is going to score a zero for electrical engineering. That said, BricsCAD BIM is built upon BricsCAD, which is kind of an interesting platform. My company, Design Master, has actually interacted with BricsCAD for quite a number of years. So 15 or so years ago, they contacted us as an AutoCAD developer and said, we have a platform where we're trying to support programs that work in AutoCAD. So they were building BricsCAD such that you could take AutoCAD customization and use it in BricsCAD with no or very limited changes to the software. We had pretty extensive software that we had built up that ran great in AutoCAD, but we didn't support any other CAD platforms. BricsCAD was trying to offer an alternative to people who wanted to keep using their AutoCAD customization and something that wasn't in AutoCAD. We worked together with them. We put a first version of our software out in 2011. It didn't actually meet the mark. It wasn't quite stable enough, so we had to pull that off the market. And then in 2013, we tried again with BricsCAD version 14, and we actually got a version of our software of Design Master Electrical and HVAC that run in AutoCAD that could also run in BricsCAD. So we could offer an alternative to our customers who want a different CAD package. That was the marketing position that BricsCAD was pursuing. They were trying to enter into the CAD market against AutoCAD and position themselves as an alternative where you could take all your customization because a lot of the value of AutoCAD is all the customization that people have built up over the years, move that over to BricsCAD and continue to use it without any changes. So we supported BricsCAD. We kept upgrading our software with the new versions. It never had great success, but we did have a number of customers who were using BricsCAD for our software. Unfortunately, that did all come to an end with BricsCAD version 23 and continuing in version 24. They made changes to their backend and our software stopped working. We've gone back and forth with BricsCAD and unfortunately our piece of software is fairly complex and their piece of software is fairly complex and we can't quite figure out where the problem is and there's really not enough people using our software on BricsCAD for either of us to spend the resources necessary to really dig down and find the solution. So at this point, we uh, have ended our support and we only support BricsCAD version 22 and we're not supporting the newer versions because the software doesn't work. If that bug ever does get fixed, we would add support back for BricsCAD, but it's not looking like something that's gonna happen in the future. So our add-in doesn't support BricsCAD anymore, but there are a number of other add-ins that are supported on BricsCAD. BricsCAD actually mentions for MEP AX3000 that this appears to be kind of like their favorite option for the MEP industry. So we're going to take a look at that in another video. So there are some options that you can layer on top of BricsCAD, but BricsCAD BIM out of the box is essentially going to be the same as what you have in AutoCAD. So if we score it based upon that, just as a drafting tool, that would give it a four on the BIM scorecard where it's not really talking about engineering, but you can at least lay out a floor plan. So BricsCAD BIM or BricsCAD by itself is essentially an AutoCAD alternative. If you do want something that's different from AutoCAD, you could consider it as an alternative.